If any of you have been to a cocktail bar, at one point in your life, you've seen some crystal clear ice. And you're probably wondering, how the f did they make it so clean? Are they using a special water? Is it magic? I used to wonder that too, until I used Google. As it turns out, it's actually really easy to get your ice to be crystal clear, but it's just not any of the methods that you think it'll be. People will boil water, purify their water, do all sorts of nonsense, but the only thing that works is called directional freezing. I mean, just like, look at these cubes. They're clear, right? Like, look, I can still see you. Like, these are better than my eyes. This is hand-flavored ice premium. This is the Gucci of hand-flavored ice. That's all I'm saying. Y'all been used to the peasant ice I've been giving you all this time. The Walmart ice. That was the great value ice. Now I got you on that, this, that, Whole Foods. This, that, Trader Joe's ice. Oh, I thought I was gonna make it. Ooh, you saw, hmm, hmm. <laughs> so, today I'm gonna walk you through how the f do you make crystal clear ice at home, as I usually do, learning y'all things. It's for chemistry, baby. We're rolling. So, what we're going to need to do today, this is day one of the two day process. I have here a cooler, so it is kind of big, but I have a large freezer, so I can also make it fit anywhere. It's not purifying the water, it's not boiling the water, none of that actually does anything to make ice clear. What does it is freezing it from only one direction. So that's why you get a cooler that is insulated on all of its sides, all of them. Oh yeah, but anyways. <laughs> It's insulated on all sides, and then you do something like this, where you rip the top off. Damn, I should have done that way manlier. Let me do that one more time. Where you rip the top off. Yeah. Yeah. That'll get him going. So once you rip the top off, let's actually get this. <coughs> Coronavirus! Can I get this off? No, it's gonna, it's, I think it's gonna break if I, it's gonna like break off. But anyways, so now it's insulated on all sides, except one. So if we fill this up with water, when the freezer freezes it, it's going to freeze it from top down. Meaning all of the impurities in the water are going to be pushed down. You take it out after about 24 hours and there's only going to be like the top half of the ice frozen. It is going to be the most clear, the most glass-like, pristine ice you've ever seen. All we got to do is fill this up with water, which I'm going to go do right now. And you're not going to see me because my kitchen's a mess. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. And this is how you finesse it. Oh. oh. Yes! Alright, now all we gotta do is just wait 24 hours. I'll see you then. Tomorrow. Yer. I love like when I grab the table and like my biceps. Oh! All right, so it has been 24 hours since I've seen y'all last. It's looking quite beautiful if I do say so myself. So as you can see, there's water trapped underneath this little block of ice. What I like to do to get it out is clean out my sink and just dump it upside down into the sink, run a little hot water on top of the cooler until it falls out on its own. So let's go do that. All right, so I'm gonna dump this upside down. You want to make sure you do it in a sink or something because it will. There's a lot of water in there that's going to come out. So I turn on the hot water and we're just going to let it rock. Let this rock just like that until you hear that ice just flop out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What does that sound like, Eddie? Oh, yeah. What does that sound like, Eddie? What does that sound like? And that is what that looks like. And, you know, all these little pieces, garbage, basura, unnecessito. I like to break it off, try to get as clean of a, oh, we got a pocket here. We got a pocket here. Give it a little rinse. Oh, man. Grab our cutting board and let's go. We're rolling? All right. Wait, what was your production? 
So I've got the ice block on a cutting board here. A little serrated knife. This is a bread knife, but I don't have anything to cut the ice with, unfortunately. I should I should buy that. We make do with what we got. Now that it's here, I just want to break it up into little pieces that I can use in cocktails and whatnot later. I always start by going down. And I always start by giving it a little tapping. This is a messy process. Don't get it twisted. Once I create a little divot, saw that. I forgot to mention that I like to keep a towel here to grab the ice because that is colder than a mother So hack and saw, hack and saw. Oh, and then just like that. And there we go. We broke this into two halves. And now you just want to keep doing that basically. Keep quartering it and quartering it until you have pieces that'll fit in your glass. Look how clean that breaks. All right. Slick bartender, I'm coming for your whole brand. Now these are looking like the pieces we want. Clean as you go, clean as you go. Oh man, this one sucks. This one sucks. So that is what this ice looks like. It is crystal clear. You know, many of you are wondering, but damn, that looked like a lot of work. It was. Wu Talk, aren't your hands cold? They were. What's the point of all that? It looks very nice. But that's really it. That literally is all it does is it looks really good in your glass. Like a glass of whiskey with some crystal clear ice. Nothing better. It does melt a little slower, like any larger block ice will melt slower than smaller pieces of ice. And you can, you know, you can flex on people and say, my water is just purer than yours. They definitely have little trinkets and gadgets that freeze these like crystal clear ice molds, like without having to do all this, but they use the same concept. It's all directional freezing. They insulate all the sides. And I've never seen one that comes out quite as clear as this. Also, I kind of like the hand cut look where you can see the ragged edges and the sweat infused into it from your labor. That's what really gives it the special flavor. But yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. Let me show you what it looks like with some whiskey in it. Man, look at that. That is so beautiful. Tell me you don't think that just looks like a beautiful piece of crystal sitting in some bourbon. Oh, it even smells better. It even tastes better. It tastes like I'm drinking bourbon that was made with water off of the Arctic glaciers. Like, I know you know that that is beautiful. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to this week's episode. If you don't already, text me. My community number is in the description. It's a good way for you to get into contact with me. Ask me any personal questions you may have about bartending, myself, business, whatever. Merch is live. That's where I got this beautiful vodka soda ice and lime shirt from. I've got a bunch of other recipe shirts on there. The products. They are back. They've been back. They're booming. And I suggest you get on that before it's too late. The I give out discount codes all the time in my community number, so make sure you hit that up. And also my Discord is live. If you wanna join a community of bartenders, cocktail enthusiasts, and just regular people who enjoy my content, pull up, chat with us, hang out with us. That's what it's for. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, press the notification bell, like, and comment, because all that stuff helps a young blood like me. You saw me out here hustling, breaking up that ice. Don't let it be for nothing. I appreciate you. Oh man, this make me feel fancy. Edward, hang it up on them. Hang up the phone, Edward. We're done talking. <laughs> this is why Korean people are not in the NBA, all right? Huh? They don't know that. We chilling, we killing, we grilling. But if you could find a fridge, I mean, to fit in most freezers, but if you have like those big spacious freezers, this is for you. Yeah, I know. 
So it is kind of big, but I have a big freezer. So if you don't have a big freezer, try to find a cool. Try to find it. Try to find it. Find it. You ruined my stare.